What is the scariest mob in all of Minecraft? Some would say it's the Warden, while others would simply say it's the Evoker. But both of these answers are wrong. The strongest mob in Minecraft is definitely the Ravager. With an army of pillagers that fight alongside it, the Ravager is basically unstoppable. And so today, I'm going to be putting that to the test by turning into a Ravager for the next 100 days in Minecraft. Will I be able to survive until day 100? Or will my three friends be able to hunt me down? On day one, I spawned in as a baby Ravager. Wait a minute, this is 100 days as a Ravager, not a baby Ravager. Oh, wait a minute, I see. I'm a newborn Ravager. I have to upgrade myself back into a full Ravager again. Well, that's lame, because right now I only have eight hearts of health. But if I fully upgrade, I can get up to 100 hearts. So we need to get working on these upgrades. But first things first, we need to get away from my friends, because these three's job is to literally make sure I do not survive until day 100. And the second I leave this block, they're going to attack me. So I'm going to run towards this villager outpost to get some wood early on and use that wood to escape. Okay, here we go. Ready? And go! Attack! Okay, here get we up, go. Get up, get up, get up. Let's go up here. We're going to quickly get to this pillager outpost. Now, they're going to attack me too. However, they're going to attack them as well. And that's always key. So let's quickly get up here and let's start working on grabbing some logs. Okay, we got one. Get over here, you tiny pig. One more, one more, one more. Oh, they're right here. Okay, we got all three logs we need. All we need is three logs to make a boat. Now we just need to find a river to escape. Okay, good. We have only one on us. They're getting wood too. Okay, we have to be quick. We got to be quick. We got to be quick. I'm coming. I made a weapon. Okay, turn the wood into wood planks. Stay on him. Quickly turn into a crafting table. There we go. Oh, he hit me. Dive underwater. Dive underwater. He's getting away. I have an idea. We're going to go ahead and dive into this cave real quick because look how many breath bubbles I have as a ravager. Okay, let's go way down here. Make a boat. Now we can swim all the way back up. Put this here. Oh, they're getting me. Oh, oh I hit him once. Go. Yes. No. no. The boat. He Guys, got away. Get... And I'm gone. Let's go. The boat trick literally never fails. Anyway, let's keep going this way and find a place to make a base. Because before we do anything, we are going to need a base. Okay, we're super far away from spawn. And I think this is the perfect place to build a base. We have a village right on the other side of these caves. And a massive cave system down here. So let's start by going to the village. Because it's going to have a lot of the essentials that we need. Okay, what do we have at this village? Let's Let's see. So far, no useful buildings at all. Well, at least there's hay bales. Okay, well, it seems like that was all the hay bales. So let's just go ahead and let's take those. Let's grab a log from this house and let's make a crafting table. Now let's turn all that wheat into bread and now we won't be starving. Okay, now we actually have to start building the base before the sun starts going down. So let's start by collecting a bunch of wood from the village. Now let's grab some stone and let's make ourselves a stone pickaxe and a stone axe. And before the sun goes down, let's grab a boatload more wood. And now let's go carve our base into the caves below. And now let's build the entrance to our home inside of this giant stone spike right here. Okay, I've carved out a basic little base. Now we just gotta go ahead and add all the essentials. And then we can finally start working on all our upgrades. From days two to six, I went ahead and finished up my base. Well, it was definitely a bit basic. It was definitely gonna be enough to start working on some upgrades. Okay, welcome to the Ravager base. It's nothing extreme, but it's gonna be good enough for us to start organizing our stuff so we can start working on our upgrades. And the first upgrade I want to unlock is Hefty Slam, which is a combat upgrade. So it's gonna make it way easier to take on my friends who are hunting me down. Now to unlock this upgrade, we need to get 50 crits with an axe. Easy. We need to eat five golden apples, and we need to kill one of our friends with fall damage with an axe. Not so easy. So let's go ahead and let's start with the easiest part first, which is getting the 50 critical hits we need with the axe by simply heading down to the mine. Or I guess in my case, I head up to the mine. Whatever, it doesn't matter. And there we go. We've got all 50 crits we need with the axe. Now we just need to go mine a bunch of gold for golden apples. But first, I need a little food, so uh, I'm gonna go get some. Okay, we're home. Let's throw this food in the smelter. Now we're gonna let this smelt, and then we're gonna go mine a bunch of gold. Okay, everything's done smelting. Now to go get some gold. Okay, and just like that, we have 40 raw gold. Meaning all we need left is some apples, and we can get the five golden apples we need. Okay, let's throw the gold into smelt. Now let's simply cut down an absolute boatload of trees till we get all of the apples that we're gonna need. And there we go, we have all five apples we need. Now let's go back to the base, grab the smelted gold, and get our five golden apples. Okay, let's grab the gold and craft all of the golden apples that we're gonna need. And with the golden apples in hand, there's only one more quest we need to do to unlock our first upgrade. And that's that we need to kill a player with fall damage, which shouldn't be too hard. As long as we bring some blocks with us, I'm easily gonna be able to trick my friends into falling for a trap. Okay, so let's store up our stuff, and now let's go find our friend's base. I see a nameplate underground. I see one of them. They're literally right over here. There's somewhere over here. I see a torch. Their base is literally right here. It's right near 
near spawn. Look, spawn is literally right over there by that tower. They moved like maybe 100 blocks. Okay, I want to get their attention real quick because I need them to take fall damage. So I'm probably going to try and lead them to their own caves to take that fall damage. Okay, I have an idea. Let's go down there. Please tell me he didn't see that. Oh, he did. Oh my gosh. Oh, go up here. Oh, they have diamond swords. Oh my God. Oh, they have diamond swords. I got to run. I didn't expect them to have diamond already. Oh, geez. Oh, they're coming in. They're coming in. This is where I can get them. Watch. Okay, there we go. I built over here. Now we're gonna build another tower. Oh, I'm half hard. Okay, my blocks are invisible and glitching. This actually helps. I can see them through the blocks. When he starts to build up, I can try and hit him off the edge. Oh, he got me. Come on, get him off. Oh, we killed him. No, it doesn't count. We have to do fall damage. Get back up, get back up. They're coming. I'm eating a golden apple. I need some health. Oh, we almost had him. We almost had him. Ooh, we gotta back up. Let's turn these in the blocks. We have more. There's one coming up over here. Oh, I'm dead. Okay, he's dead. Full damage, full damage. We got the kill. We got the kill. Oh, I'm gonna shoot him. Oh, I hit him. <laughs> oh, I didn't even mean to do that. We almost died. Let's go this way. We can get out of here this way. Yes. Nice. Build up. Oh, we're gone. We're gone. Yes. Go, 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 go. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Let's go. Okay, let's just quickly make a boat just so we can quickly escape. Make the boat and let's get out of here. Go, 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 go. Yes. Yes, we're gone. We are out of here. Okay, we're back home. And the only thing we have to do now is eat three golden apples. And now we can unlock our first combat upgrade, Hefty Slam. Which you know I gotta try out. But with a name like Hefty Slam, it's probably not safe to use in my base. Okay, let's go try our ability on a mob down here. There we go. There's a zombie. Come here, Mr. Zombie. Let's try this ability. Oh. Oh, like a Ravager, I send them flying. So it's an attack that sends them flying. That's amazing. Let's try it one more time. Come here, you. Oh, we're out of energy. Boom. That ability is amazing. Okay, now that we have our first combat ability unlocked, let's unlock the herbivore upgrade, which basically makes it so anything I eat gives me regeneration. Now to unlock it, I need 128 flowers, 64 wheat seeds, and 32 cocoa beans. So let's start by getting the seeds and flowers because that'll only take a second. Okay, we've got all the wheat seeds we need. Now let's just go find some flowers and pick them. Okay, we officially have all the flowers and wheat we need. So now we just need 32 cocoa beans, which means we have to find a jungle, which I haven't seen one yet. So that's gonna be kind of tricky to find. But once we do, the cocoa beans will be easy. So let's just go store up some of our stuff and start looking for a jungle. Oh, I see the hunters. Oh, that was a close call. They're actually heading in the direction of my base. I bet you they saw the direction I left when I attacked them and they're just following that direction, trying to find my base. Either way, I'm not going that way. I'm gonna go this way and hope I find a jungle this way instead because I am not fighting them right now. It took me until day 16 to actually actually find a jungle where I could get cocoa beans and do this upgrade. Oh, I see a jungle head. There's a jungle. Yes. Okay, we found one. Let's go. Okay, now that we're at a jungle, all we have to do is find some cocoa beans. Okay, we've got all the cocoa beans we need, meaning we can now unlock herbivore. Which means if we eat any food that isn't meat, we get regeneration. So anyway, let's go back to the base. Okay, and we're home. Now let's just go into the base and we can start working on our next upgrade, which is definitely going to be a Ravager upgrade, because I'm sick of having eight hearts. So what we're going to go ahead and do... Ooh! All right, fellas, it's showtime. Get him! I knew, I knew I saw... Oh, we're stuck. Oh, there's all of them here. I don't know what to do. Hold on. Oh, they're trying to block me. No! Oh, God. Okay, actually, that works. That works. That works. That helps. Okay, I fit in one block, so I can mine faster than they can. Okay, we're out of the blast furnace. Let's go. Whoop! Shut the door. Okay. Oh, God. That's it. Use the ability. He's in. He's back in. He's back in. He's oh, back inside. I need help. He's what shooting the, me, dude. Nice. We killed him. Oh, he just sent me flying. What is that? Oh, he's got like a weird a power thing. I mean, I'm not doing that. We tricked him. Nice. He's done. Uh oh, oh my I, God. He shot me. We can get him through the door. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Can I get him? I can hurt him through the wall. <gasps> that power is broken. I took out all three of them with it. I messed up my base a little bit, but hey, at least the base survived. Anyway, as I was saying earlier, I want to work on an evolution upgrade and it turned into a Ravager cap, which will give me 16 hearts of health and strength one, which is double what I have now. Leave me alone. I'm trying to explain something, which is literally double the amount of hearts I have right now. So we definitely need this upgrade. So to become a calf, we need 24 leather, nine milk buckets and 32 coal. Now we already have all the coal we need. So all we need is the milk buckets and the leather. So let's start by grabbing our iron and let's make ourselves nine buckets. And there we go, we have nine total buckets. Now we just gotta find some cows and kill them for their leather, and we'll be all set. Okay, let's fill our bucket full of milk. <laughs> dump out our water. And get some more milk. Now we just literally need 24 leather, so, uh, sorry. Oh, 
Okay, we have everything we need now to stop being a baby ravager. So let's go ahead and let's turn into the cat ravager, which is just still a small ravager. At least I'm bigger now and I have double hearts. Anyway, now that we're this size, let's go back to the base and start working on our next combat upgrade, experienced riding companion, which is gonna summon a pillager that'll fight on top of me, which you know is gonna make me super OP. So to get the next combat upgrade, we need to tame five horses, breed 20 animals, shoot a firework out of a crossbow and kill three of my friends with a crossbow. So let's go and let's tame the five horses first. Okay, so let's go find some horses. Cause all I have to do is sit on their backs and eventually they're just gonna be tamed. It's literally that simple. Oh, no, 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 no. Hunters are literally back. They're back already. Hold on. I gotta block off, I gotta block off the base. I need more wood. I gotta like reinforce. Okay. That is creepy. Stop playing the goat horn. Oh yeah, they're here. I hear them above me. Get ready to go. They're coming in the other way. Okay, let's sneak behind them. Let's sneak behind them and get a kill. Get them out of the base. Okay, come on, we're gonna get one. Oh, oh, he, oh, no. oh my god! Ah. He's stuck in a hole. Yes, we got one! Are they already down there? Okay, I'm in. Back in. Ooh. I see him. Nope, one's right here. On me. Oh, we put blocks down. Let's go back around. Go back around. Nice. I broke it. Ooh. Oh, that's near. But no! No, they're keeping me near it. Oh, oh they took out my chest. Oh, God. Wait, I can get him through blocks. Hold on. I see his name. He's somewhere over here. Ah. <laughs> There's like a little area. Oh, yes, we got him through the wall. I got both of them through the wall. I cleared out my base. But I think I may have also destroyed it in the pro. Oh, I messed it up pretty bad. Oh, God. So they destroyed all my chests. And all I have left for this base is some furnaces and a bed. Yeah, I don't think I can stay here anymore. We definitely have to move to a new base. Because otherwise, they're just going to keep attacking us. And this is going to be a pain in the butt to deal with. Well, I probably should have seen that one coming. And so, until day 27, I spend time finding a new base, building a new base, and finally living in my new base. Okay, and welcome to the brand new Ravager base. Now, this base is pretty cool looking overall, as I decided to build it into the side of a hill. So that way, I could build this cool little dipped-in design base. So, simply put, we got our chests here, our enchanting table here, our furnaces here, and our beds here. And, as you can see from the dripping lava, there's actually lava above this base, protecting us from any attacks from above. Anyway, now that I've shown you the base, we still have to tame five horses. So, let's go find some horses and make them our friend. Okay, we're in a plains biome, which means there should be horses somewhere around here. And here we go. Here's some horses. So let's go and let's ride this one right here. He said no. Be my friend. Let a ravager ride you. Dang it. Oh my god, this horse hates me. Come on. Yes! Okay, we got one. Uh, now let's do this transparent horse, which for some reason I can see through. Oh, dang it. I thought I had him. No, be my friend. No! Stop! This is the most stubborn horse I've ever dealt with. Oh my goodness. There we go. Thank goodness. One more to go. There we go. All three of these horses are done. Now we just gotta go find two more. Okay, we got three more horses right here. Let's go and let's ride these guys. First, let's start with the white one. And now we just need to take one more. And we're gonna go with this guy because he's also transparent. Fine, never mind. We won't go with him. We're gonna go with the gray one because he's cooler. Oh my goodness. Maybe he's not cool. Yes, okay, there we go. Five out of five horses tamed. And finally, we got all of them. Now we're just gonna go ahead and breed 20 animals. Okay, so to finish the upgrade, we need to breed 20 animals. So that's what we're gonna do today. So let's go down to our chest. Let's grab our wheat seeds, some wheat, and some carrots. These should be enough to get some animals breeded. Now let's just go find some to breed. Oh, I found some pigs. Okay, you come here because I know you like carrots. Come on, be friends with this pig. You and you. There we go. We bred one animal. Oh no, there's still more pigs over here. Perfect. And you. Now let's do you and you. And now let's do these two pigs right here. One for you and one for you. Okay, that's four animals bred. Now we get some chickens right here, which I think I can just give seeds, right? Yep. Seeds will work perfect. Okay, there's some more chickens bred. And there we go. We've officially bred 20 animals. Meaning all we need to do left is make ourselves a firework, shoot it out of a crossbow, and then just get some crossbow kills. Let's go back to the base. Okay, so to make a firework, you need to combine paper with gunpowder. And then you get three fireworks. It's pretty straightforward. So let's quickly go outside and grab some paper. Ah, here we go. Three sugar cane, which will get us three paper. Now let's just go find a creeper and kill it for its gunpowder. And there's a creeper. Let's go kill him. And please give me a gunpowder. I messed up. Oh, we got him, but he didn't give us a gunpowder. Luckily, there's another one over here. There we go. We got the gunpowder. So let's turn our sugar cane into paper, combine it with our gunpowder, and we're gonna get ourselves six firework rockets. Now to actually get this ability, you're gonna notice I need to shoot a firework with a crossbow. So we need a crossbow. And to make one of those, you just need, well, this stuff. A trip wire hook, three sticks, two string, and an iron ingot. We luckily already have the string, the sticks, and the iron we need, so we just need this trip wire hook, which is made of just wood, sticks, and iron, which we have. So let's grab our string, let's grab our sticks, let's grab our wood, let's grab our log, and let's grab our iron. And now let's get crafting. First with the trip wire hooks, let's make Make two of those and then with the crossbow 
and make one of those. Now we simply put the fireworks in our offhand and load the crossbow. And now you'll see there's a firework in our crossbow. So let's go outside and let's shoot this thing off. And there we go, we officially got the firework shoot upgrade, meaning now we just need to get three player kills with this crossbow, and we'll be all done with this combat upgrade. Okay, we've officially got the crossbow, we've got a bunch of arrows, however, to get three kills with the crossbow, I don't know if 34 arrows is enough. I want to have at least a stack and a half of arrows to guarantee these kills, so let's go grab a bunch of arrow supplies and make those arrows. Okay, with the arrows in hand, we can now head to our friend's base and get these crossbow kills. Okay, so I'm in their base. They really don't have too much stuff, but what they do have, I'm taking all of it. Grab all this food, grab these diamonds and gold, and perfect. Now let's just destroy all the furnaces and the chests. And now their base is no longer viable. Now we just wait for them to get back and get our crossbow kills. Oh, I heard footsteps. Their names above me? I think they're here. I think they're definitely back. I just heard someone eat food. I'm almost positive they're near. Yeah, I hear them. They're coming. I, I put a little hole at the, at the front door. Hopefully they fall in. Oh, yeah. Here they are. Here they are. Here they are. Wait, our stuff is broken. Oh, my. You. One of them fell in the hole. Nice. Oh! Oh, this hurts. <laughs> Shoot him. Uh, I'm dead. We got one. Ooh. I don't want to be in here if I want crossbow kills. That's fine. Block me in. That actually makes my life easier. Eat some food. We got to get out of here. Nice. We're out. Let's go this way. Oh, it's nighttime. Ooh, they almost got me. Okay, let's go up here. This is where I can get them. Ready? Okay, here we go. Ouch. He's almost done. He's got to be almost done. Okay. No, I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go. Jose! Jose! No. Got him! Okay, we gotta eat some food here. Nice, we got another one! That's all three crossbow kills we need. Nice! Nice, that should he that should kill him. Unless he water buckets. Oh yes, he fell! I tried to Kobe hard. <laughs> yes! Okay, we can get out of here. Nope, there's still one more in front of me. He's done. Oh gosh! Nice, he's done. Let's go. Let's go, 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 go. Get out of here. Come on. Oh no, they're on me. Okay. Let's do the combat upgrade. And let's put a companion on our back. There we go. Get him. Yeah. Come here. Okay, he's running. There's two more coming. Let him run. Just let him run. We can go. Let's just get out of here. Oh, they're shooting at me. I have a boat on me. Let's grab the boat. This is going to be how we get away. Come on. Yes. They missed. They missed. Run, my pillager. Run. Oh, they broke the boat. There we go. We got it. Yep. Dodge and weave. Dodge and weave. Oh, they hit him. They hit the pillager. Oh, they're hitting the pillager a lot. And away we go. Okay, now that I have a pillager on my back, let's go ahead and get us the ability that lets us summon my army of pillagers. And this upgrade would be the Illager Spawner, which lets me place a pillager spawner that can summon pillagers and even like a 10% chance for an illusioner. But if I summon these things and they kill mobs, those mobs drop random ores, which means I could get netherite already. Now to get this upgrade, we need 64 bones, 64 rotten flesh, 64 spider eyes, and 64 gunpowder, and 64 iron bars, which is a lot of stuff. But luckily most of that is mob drops, so let's start killing some mobs. Okay, we officially have all the mob drops we need, meaning all we need left is 64 iron bars, which is super easy to get. So let's quickly go back up to the surface, store up all our mob drops, and then go mine a bunch of iron. Okay, we've got all the iron we need. Now let's go back to the base and smelt it and turn it into iron bars. Let's throw the iron in our blast furnaces and let's wait for that to smell. Okay, now let's turn all the ingots into bars and we get ourselves the 64 iron bars we need. Now let's grab all our mob drops. Now let's unlock the Illager spawner, which you know we gotta show off. Okay, so let's test out the Illager spawner. Currently we're in a cave with tons of hostile mobs. So let's go ahead, let's go to a group of them, like up here, and let's summon our spawner, let's say right here. Now my pillagers are gonna go ahead and attack the skeleton and when they kill it, it's gonna drop a random ore. There we go. And as you can see, it dropped three lapis. And the best thing is, these guys will follow me everywhere in here. Yeah, look at them go. They're just murdering everything. Nice, that one dropped iron. Oh, it looks like this skeleton dropped diamonds. This upgrade is amazing. I can just get tons of free ores for this. Okay, now it's time to get more hearts and become a level three Ravager. Right now, we're level two, and the level three requires a ton of items. 30 emeralds, full diamond armor, and a totem of undying. None of these are that hard to get, but the hardest is definitely that totem of undying. So to get that, we're gonna have to find a woodland mansion, and to find that is really hard, because those things can spawn pretty much anywhere within 15,000 blocks of spawn. So yeah, it could be anywhere, but luckily we can get a woodland mansion map with just a few items. We need sugar cane for paper. There we go. We've got all the sugar cane we need to make a boatload of paper. Now we just need to grab some sand. That way we can make a bunch of glass panes. 
Okay, we've got all the sand we need, and we've got the rest of the supplies already at home. So let's go home and get all this stuff together. First things first, let's get this sand smelting in four of our furnaces. Well, that's smelting. Let's go ahead and turn all this sugar cane into paper. Finally, let's grab some emeralds from this chest, grab some iron from this chest, and let's go and let's make ourselves two compasses. Now let's just wait for the glass to smelt. Okay, and all the glass is done. Now let's turn it into glass panes. And we have the two stacks we need. Now we'll simply go to sleep and head to a village tomorrow and get our woodland mansion map. Okay, so I'm in a village. Now we just have to give one of these guys the cartographer job. Oh, wait. Oh, there's already one in here. Yes, so what we're going to do is we're going to trade him a bunch of our paper for emeralds to start. And this way we can level him all the way up from a novice into an apprentice. Then we're going to trade him all our glass panes and this will level him up again. This time into a journeyman. And now he sells us the woodland explorer map for simply some emeralds and a compass. So now if we put the compass in our offhand and keep the map in our main hand, we're going to appear as a little dog on this map and I can see that I'm in the bottom right hand corner it's very small I need to head northwest if I want to find this woodland mansion this way so we're gonna go this way until we find this thing which could take a very long time but let's go on day 41 I simply followed the map to the woodland mansion oh we're getting close oh I can literally see it it's right there I found the woodland mansion let's go let's just get up to the top usually that's where I end up finding the totems of undying is on the top floor so let's go up here real quick and let's see if we can find one of these dudes oh there's one literally right here look at this we gotta be Quick, ready? One, two, go. Got him! Totem's mine! Ooh, let's kill these guys first. Is there another one in here? Oh, golly! Go! Oh, where's that coming from? Ah! Where did all those come from? Okay, let's quickly run inside. Come! Get in, get in, get in, get in, get in. No, stay away, skeleton. Oh my goodness, there's so many mobs. Okay, we need to go kill all the vexes and all the things downstairs. Oh, he was close. Oh, wait, was that the- I just saw the hunters. I found him, I found him, I found him, I found him. He's dead. Oh, there's another one right here. Oh my gosh, they're everywhere. I gotta heal, I gotta heal, I gotta heal. Oh God, these vexes might kill me. Let's go back up, let's go back, back upstairs, back upstairs, back upstairs. Okay, he's dead. Eat some food. We can take on these vexes, slowly but surely. Oh! I gotta get a totem on. I gotta get one of these totems on. Oh, what the? Oh, it's Ryan. Quick. Oh! Oh my goodness, this is chaos. Okay, quick. We got the totem on, we got the totem on. Break this window. Oh, let's just sit out here and eat some food. Oh, he sees me. Okay, we're in the water. Nice. I cannot fight all this. This is chaos. Go. No, he's bowing me. Go. Ah! Oh, he's on my tail. He's on my tail. He's on my tail. Let's build up. Yes, he missed. Okay, eat some food. He's above me. Oh. Oh, he's got a totem. He's got a totem. We got him. We got him. We got him. Dude, he hurts. Ow. Help me. Ah. Oh, we are completely strong. Oh. Oh, what was that? Oh, okay. no. We got him. He's running. His totem popped. He's got to be dead. Oh, I'm running. He's trying to block me. It's not going to work. Come on. Oh, he's on killing me. Oh. Yes. Okay, eat some food. Oh. Die. We are surrounded. He's TNTing. Nice, we got him. Okay, there's one more below me. Yeah, I guess I'll break down this tree. No, no, no! Come on, get him. Oh, he got my totem to pop. No, no! Nice, we got him, yes! Oh, that was so close. Oh, we survived. And we still have two more totems. That was such a pain. Okay, whatever. We got everything we need. Let's go back to the base and let's grab the rest of the stuff we need for the level three Ravager. Okay, we're back at the base and all we need to do left is grab a bunch of diamonds for diamond armor and about 15 more emeralds. Since the diamonds are easy, let's head down to the mine and let's go grab some. Okay, perfect. We have 28 diamonds, which is slightly more than we needed, but it will definitely do in making us the diamond armor. So now we just need to go find some emeralds, but we'll do that tomorrow. Now, finding the remaining 15 or so emeralds is actually going to be a little bit trickier than the diamond, because to get emeralds, you got to go to a mountain biome. Now, I luckily know where one is, so we're going to head there and start mining for some emeralds. Okay, perfect. We're at the ice mountain. Now we just have to go dig inside and go through the caves and grab emeralds one by one. And there we go, 16 emeralds, which I believe should be enough. So let's go back to the base and let's find out. Okay, so let's turn our diamonds into diamond armor. Now let's grab the all our excess emeralds and that gives us exactly 30, meaning all we need left is the totem of undying, which of course is in my hand. So we can officially unlock the level three Ravager, which you're gonna see looks totally different. Look at this thing. I now have 32 hearts of health, speed one and strength two. This Ravager is super overpowered. Anywho, we got another Ravager complete, which puts us one step closer to becoming a max level Ravager. In total, we have seven Ravager upgrades done and eight total to go. So we're basically halfway there. So we're basically halfway 
halfway to becoming a full strength ravager so next let's make ourselves even stronger so we're gonna work on charging horns which allows us to ram through blocks at insane speeds and send our enemies flying now to unlock this i need to break 300 blocks ignite 45 tnt and kill five players with critical hits now luckily i actually know where some desert temples are that i haven't looted yet so let's head to the spawn desert because there's literally three temples there okay here's the first one let's break in and now let's be extra careful because now that we're a wide big ravager if i fall down there i'm gonna hit that pressure plate let's put a block there okay there we go now let's go down to this block then this block and then i should be able to break the pressure plate now we're safe okay let's loot this thing up oh hey look a golden apple and now just grab the tnt underneath and now that's the first temple looted okay here's temple number two and let's grab all the tnt at the bottom of this one and that's all the loot from this one now we'll go to the third temple and here's the third and final temple that i know about and let's grab all the TNT at the bottom. And that gives us a total of 27 TNT already. Which means we need 13 more. Okay, it's day 47. And we currently have 27 TNT. But we need to blow up 45. So we need 18 more TNT. Which, uh, doing some quick maths, is 90 gunpowder and, like, a little bit less sand. So let's just go kill some creepers for a bit and get the gunpowder we need. Okay, we officially have 90 gunpowder. So let's go back up, grab a bunch of sand, and make the remaining TNT we need. Now let's grab 90 sand. And there we go. We got all the sand we need. Now let's combine together all of our gunpowder with all of our sand. And we get ourselves the 45 TNT we need to set off. Now let's simply make a flint and steel. And now we can set off the TNT. So let's go somewhere far from our base so it doesn't make it obvious where we live. And then cause a big explosion. Wait a minute, what? So I figured let's go and let's do it on this beach. But I realized something really weird about this beach. There's now turtles here. But we're setting off the TNT anyway. So let's get to work and destroy their beach. Let's blow up, let's say, I don't know, nine at a time. Here we go. Okay, let's do nine more. Let's do 10 this time. And then let's do the remaining 10. Ta-da! And I managed to not hurt a single turtle while blowing up their beach. But we finished up all the TNT, and we literally just need to break like 100 more blocks. So uh, let's quickly break 100 more blocks. And there we go, 300 blocks done. Meaning all we need left is to get five critical hit kills and we'll be able to get our next upgrade. Okay, it is day 49. And since we only need some critical hit kills left, let's make our way back to our friend's base. And uh, we'll first see if they still live there. Honestly, I kind of destroyed it, so I doubt they do. But if they do, we'll go get our crit kills and be done. Okay, I won't lie. This base is definitely abandoned. They have moved out. They do not live here any longer, which is exactly what I expected. So let's go find their new base instead. It would take three full days of searching just to find my friend's new base. And I needed to find it for my critical hit kills. Ooh, we got a village up ahead. That's great. Okay, let's check out the village because they love to build in villages. Is there any farms? That would be the big tell. Okay, no, I don't think... Never mind! I found them! Look at that! Oh my god, they built a massive tower with a llama on the roof. Hold the phone, hold the phone, hold the phone. We found them. I called that. I told you they always build next to villages. Second, let's go and let's spawn a pillager on our back. Let's also go ahead and let's spawn a bunch of my illager spawners all around their base. Let's go. Let's do this. Now we need a bunch of crit hits and we are set. Oh, no. He saw me. He saw me. He saw me. I just saw him. He was looking right at me, dude. And there we go. I put the spawner in. They're trying to shoot me from above. Let's go in here. Get out of here. Okay, we got one spawner on the bottom. We're going to get a spawner up here now. He's trying to prevent me from going up. But Oh, I don't fit. I don't fit. Oh, one of them just fell. I got an idea, though. I got an idea. Hold on. Ha ha. Take that. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. Nice. We got one. Okay, nice. Now let's go with the spawn. Put the spawner down. There we go. We got one. We got two. Okay, there's two spawners in here. Okay, let's spawn another. Come on. We got one. That wasn't a crit, though. Oh, I found all their beds. Oh, we're getting low on eight health. Hold on, hold on. I can't let them destroy these. Are you kidding me? Uh, I can't get these crits. I've gotten a bunch of kills, but no crits for them yet. Whoop. Let's jump over here. Let's get some more health. Okay, let's block off their water. Okay, cool. We're at the top of their base, and there's not much they can do right now, but we still need these crit kills. <gasps> no! I died! He's done. No, I need these crit kills. Please tell me we have more arrows in the chest. Oh! Okay, we got one. That was a crit kill. <laughs> nice, we got him. 
Nice, nice, we got him. That's another one. We got three. Let's spawn some more. Dude, I'm sick of these pillager spawners. Dude, they gotta take these things out, but they can't. Oh, I fell, no! Ooh, we're live. Okay, we gotta build back up. We gotta build back up. Why would you do that? Oh, we're low. We gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. Hold on. Go! Oh, one's right in front of me. No! Let's get some more health than us. Oh, we're stuck. Oh my gosh, he two shot me. Okay, we got him. That's four to five. We still need one more. That's gonna make him run. Ready? Oh, what was that? No, he took all damage. Dang it, I needed that one kill. Save me! Save me! There we go, we got him. Okay, that's all five we needed. Let's unlock the ability. Now we have charging horns. Go back up there, mate. Okay, we made it back up. Let's put more of these spawners in. Nice, we got an illusioner. Take him on, buddy. God, are you kidding me? He's done. Let's keep going. And there we go. We have our new charge ability, which honestly made it super easy to get away. Did you see that? Well, they can have fun looking for me and fighting all my pillagers. We got everything we need, so we're getting out of here. Okay, we did it. We officially unlocked the charging horns upgrade, which in the middle of combat, I could kind of show it off, but let me show you what it does in more detail. So let's go down here to the bottom of this cliff and just use this area as an easy example. If I hold down the charge key, you're going to see I just slam through blocks super fast. But what makes this even more OP than that is I can use it to fly. So if I were to use it from on top of this cliff, I can simply do this. And look, I'm flying and it barely uses any energy. And then to simply land, I gotta fall in water. Now that you get a better idea of what the upgrade looks like, let's work on the next utility upgrade, Carnivore. Which basically gives us regen and resistance every time we eat meat. And uh, I like meat. So to get this upgrade, we need to get three cakes, get 128 cooked meat, and get 30 eggs. But let's start with the easy part, the meat. <laughs> Okay, we've got all the raw meat we need. So now let's simply put it in our smoker and get this food cooking. Okay, while well, all this food is cooking, let's go gather the 30 eggs that we're gonna need. We currently already have two, and I currently have another nine in my chest. Meaning basically I need 20 more eggs. So let's go grab those eggs. You know what I also realized? I'm gonna need three eggs for my cake. Meaning add plus three to that egg count, whatever that is. We've got 10 additional eggs, but the sun's starting to set. So we'll go ahead and get the rest of the eggs tomorrow. Okay, we've got all the eggs that we need. Okay, so if we look at the carnivore upgrade, we officially have all the cooked meat we need, and we have all the eggs that we need. Meaning all we need now is three pieces of cake. Okay, so to make a cake, we need three milk buckets, two sugar, one egg, and three wheat. Multiply that by three, and that's uh, nine milk buckets, nine wheat, six sugar, and three eggs. Now, we luckily have three extra eggs. So now let's just go grab some sugar, some wheat, and some milk buckets. So let's start by making nine milk buckets, and now let's go fill these with some milk. Okay, let's get some milk. There we go. And now we just need nine wheat and six sugar. Okay, let's grab some sugar cane. And that'll get us all the sugar that we need. So all we need left to do is grab some wheat. Which, if I go to this farm, I should be able to get. And that's all there was. But luckily, we have some bones on us. So let's turn that into bone meal. So let's simply plant the wheat seed and let's grow it. And that got us seven wheat. But we need nine. So... Seven's not enough. We luckily have extra wheat seeds, so with using some extra bones that we have at home, we'll be able to get all the wheat we need. So let's grab a piece of dirt and some wood and some iron, and now let's quickly make ourseles an iron hoe. Now we'll simply till this grass right here, plant our four wheat seeds, and grab some bones. Now we'll use this bone meal to grow the wheat, which now gives us 10 wheat, which is all we need. Now let's combine all the ingredients together. We put three milk buckets on top, we put three wheat at the bottom, we put three eggs in the middle, and then we put the sugar on either side, and we get ourselves a cake. So let's do the first one, the second one, and the third one. And there we go, we got three cakes. Cakes, which is everything we need to unlock carnivore. But again, we'll do that tomorrow because it's already super late. Okay, it's day 58. Let's unlock carnivore. Let's try it out. So first things first, let's get our hunger down by just jumping real quick. There we go. Our hunger is down. Now, if we eat this chicken, you're going to notice we get resistance and regeneration. Boom. Regeneration, resistance. That's going to make us super broken because if we eat food, we're basically near invincible for a few seconds. Anyway, with that upgrade done, it's time to work on yet another utility upgrade called Juggernaut. And the reason I want to get this one now is because it works super well with my charge ability. As we know, with my charge ability, I can basically fly. But if I take fall damage, well, I'm kind of in trouble. So I have to land in water. However, Juggernaut makes it so I take no more fall damage, meaning I can basically fly without Elytra. Now to unlock Juggernaut, I need 
45 skull, 30 amethyst shards, 15 disc fragments, and three skull sets. Which basically means uh, we're gonna go find an ancient city. Like usual, finding an ancient city turned out to be kinda hard. I used the trick you guys even taught me in the comments below. And while it does make it easier, it still took two full days to find one. Okay, let's make our way down to this ancient city. Now here's the thing, we need skull, we need skull sensors, we need a bunch of stuff. But to get it, I need silk touch. So that stuff's gonna have to wait. But we can get the disc fragments and there is a chance that you can get a silk touch book or even a silk touch pickaxe in an ancient city. So uh, let's start looking around, shall we? Ooh, okay, we have some echo shards and we have some disc fragments. And luckily there's skulk in these chests. So we may not have to mine it after all because we already got some skulk sensors and some skulk. Let's take a peek at how much we need it again. Okay, we already have the skulk sensors and we just need to get 45 skulk. We may not need silk touch after all. Okay, let's check this one. We have some disc fragments and a lot of skulk actually. I didn't even notice that. We got some amethyst shards as well. We got three skulk here and another disc fragment. We're currently at seven disc fragments and 18 skulk. We're doing pretty good. Oh, this one has a ton of skulk in it. Oh, we're at 45. Isn't that what we needed? We're done with the skulk. All we need left is some more amethyst shards and some disc fragments. Okay, let's check out this chest. Nice. We got two disc fragments in here as well. Booyah. We got another echo shard, two more disc fragments, and a bunch of coal. We literally just need one more disc fragment and a few more amethyst. We got the disc fragments we need and a few amethyst. Wait, what does that put us at? We literally have everything to get juggernaut. Oh my goodness. We got it all in one single ancient city. Let's go. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's unlock juggernaut. And now that we have it, let's make our way back to the base and let's get another combat upgrade. Okay, there's the base. Finally, that was a pain. Oh, the hunters are at my base. I don't think they see me though. He's here. Oh God, uh, I'm lighting, I'm lighting. No, they're destroying it. Come on, pillagers, get him. Oh God. Okay, base is gone. One's down. He's shotgunning me, bro. I'm dead. Nice, two down. Dude, are you, oh my God. I, get, I got lost in my inventory. I don't take fall damage or knockback and he's done. Okay, well they destroyed the absolute heck out of my base. There's literally nothing left. Everything is gone, including my extra totems. <laughs> I didn't want to lose those. Well, I guess we'll just grab the enchanter and get out of here. And I guess let's go make a new base. And so I lost yet another base, but I was not gonna let this stop me. I was so close to beating this challenge at this point. There was no way I could lose now. Okay, so welcome your faces to the brand new Ravager base. This time built in the sky. And I actually happen to be right next to spawn because I felt like for a Ravager base, it'd be pretty fitting to make my base below the pillager outpost. I was originally gonna make it inside, but as you can see, these guys like to attack me a lot. So instead we just walk in the front door of the pillager outpost, run by all the enemies, go upstairs and simply swim up this giant waterway. And we're in the base. And now that the base is done, we can keep working on upgrades. So currently we have one utility upgrade left, two Ravager upgrades left and two combat upgrades upgrades left. So we're going to work on War Banner, which when unlocked is going to allow us to summon a Pillager War Banner on the ground for 20 seconds. And basically if I'm near that banner, I automatically get critical hits, which is more broken than most people realize. So let's start off with the easy part and shear 50 sheep as this is the first quest we need to complete. Let's grab some of our iron, make ourselves some shears, and now let's go find some sheep. Okay, we officially have sheared 50 total sheep and we got a bunch of wool to show for it. Now we just need to go ahead and get seven player kills with bad omen or apply a pattern to a banner, both of which are fairly easy. So let's go back to the base and let's start with the easiest part, applying a banner. So first things first, let's grab this oxidaisy. Now let's combine that oxidaisy with a piece of paper and that's gonna give us our first banner pattern. Now we need to make a loom, which is simply two string and two planks. Okay, let's grab our string from in this chest and now let's make ourselves a loom. Now all we have to do is put the banner pattern in there and now we just need a banner and a die. So for the die, we'll just use white for bone meal. And to make the banner, all we need to do is take a stick, put a bunch of wool like this, and we get the banner. Now let's combine it all together. We put the white with the white dye and the banner pattern. And just like that, we've done it. We've applied a pattern to a banner. But because it's all white, you can't see anything. And now we just need to go ahead and get bad omen and then get seven player kills with it. And getting bad omen is gonna be as easy as killing a bunch of these pillagers, or at least killing one that has a banner. Perfect, there he is, banner man. Now I have bad omen. Okay, so with bad omen officially on, all we have to do now is attack my friends and get some kills. Okay, their base is literally just ahead, but I'm not just gonna go storming in with my feet. You see, with my ability to like plow through blocks, I can basically fly. So let's fly to their base. And now let's fly. Oh, they see me. Here I come. I am a flying ravager. Wait, is he flying? Whoa. He's flying. <laughs> ah, get inside. Hello. Come here, you. I gotta get him. I gotta get him. Nice. We got one. That's one kill. Nice. Okay, we got another one. Let's him, blocked. please. <laughs> He was strafing pretty good there. Oh my God, I was strafing for a second. I almost had him. Up their back. Oh, he fell. Nice, we got another one. That's five. Come on, we gotta get him. Yes, we got him. That's six. There we go. That's all seven we need. Oh, now we just gonna get out of here. Bye. 
Okay. Okay. And we are out of here. And I accidentally started a raid, which will prevent them from chasing me. Now let's go back to the base and unlock our new upgrade. That went amazing. And now we can unlock War Banner, which you know I got to try out. So when I use it, it's going to put a banner down, which is going to spawn this guy who's going to fight for me. Watch. Uh, yeah, attack me. And now they're gonna start shooting at that guy. No, they're betraying me. But it doesn't matter because luckily for me, all my hits are critical. As long as I stay within the banner's radius, everything I do is critical. So yeah, that's a pretty good power because critical hits do a ton of damage. Anyway, with that unlocked, there's only one more tier four upgrade left and that's the level four Ravager. It's the regular one. Anyway, to get a regular Ravager, we need five God Apples, three Strength Potions and three Weakness Potions. Now right now we have zero God Apples, which is a pain. But luckily there's a place where you can get tons of them. And by tons i think it's like at most you can get like six so let's go find a brand new ancient city since we already looted one and let's go hope it has a bunch of god apples so i don't have to grind desert temples because i hate doing that this could actually be an ancient city here it is an ancient city god i love that trick you guys taught me the one about looking under like giant mountains and stuff because it really does work anyway now let's do our job and not summon a warden and let's just go simply collect a bunch of god apples okay first chest please have a god apple nope no god apple <gasps> let's go we got one <gasps> another one let's go okay this one's a dud it literally really has nothing good except for some free coal. We got another god apple and we have unbreaking three diamond pants, which not as exciting, but still good. How do I get to this chest? <sighs> oh god, I did it again. I'm going for it. Nothing. Okay, the warden still didn't spawn. We're good. Okay, this chest literally has nothing except for the best music disc in the game. And the other one has exactly what we need. Yes. Okay, there we go. Yes, that's the fifth one we need. We got it. We have all the god apples. I'm not taking any more chances in here. I am leaving. So we got all the five god apples that we needed, which means all we need left is a few potions. Three weakness and three strength, which we can easily get from the nether as these potions are easy to make. Okay, perfect. Now we're just gonna find another fortress. Okay, perfect. I found one. Let's head over there. Now let's get ourselves some nether warts and some blaze rods. Okay, let's go down here and booyah. Here's the nether warts. Now let's kill a bunch of blazes. There we go. That's five blaze rods. That's definitely more than enough. Now we just need to get a fermented spider eye and we'll be all set. Now to make a fermented spider eye, you need a brown mushroom, a regular spider eye, and some sugar. So I see some sugar cane. So let's just go grab that. Now we have 15 sugar, and I already have some spider eyes, so all I really need is a brown mushroom. Mushroom spotted! We made it! Okay, now let's just get to an area where it's, you know, where I can land on the trees, which is right here. Perfect, I see brown mushroom. Now let's grab it. You know, I thought you harvested mushrooms with shears, but I guess not. This is breaking really slow. There we go, we got nine brown mushrooms. Definitely enough. So let's combine that all together. A brown mushroom a sugar, and a spider eye, and get ourselves the fermented spider eye. Now let's go over to our brewing stands, and we're gonna take these blaze rods and turn two of them into blaze powder. Put one blaze powder in this one, and one blaze powder in this one. Now let me grab the glass from the chest, and let's make some glass bottles. Fill them with water, and throw them inside the brewing stand. Now we simply put a fermented spider eye in this one, and a nether wart in this one. Now the fermented spider eye is gonna turn these straight into weakness potions. And this one, once this is done, will make awkward potions, and then we just throw in a blaze powder, and we get the strength potions. See, potions of weakness, done. And there we go, the three potions of strength, which is everything we need for a level four Ravager. So let's grab the God Apples and do the upgrade. We're now a regular Ravager. You know, for real this time. This is the full-sized regular Ravager. I have 50 total hearts. And with this one complete, there's now three upgrades to go. We have the OP Ravager called Big and Beefy. The final combat upgrade called Headbutt of Absolute Power. And the final utility upgrade, Elytra-Infused Ravager. Which, you know, might be a little better than my current flying since I can't really turn while I do it. But now you're gonna notice I have Speed 2 and I have Strength 4. Meaning I'm gonna be destroying my friends. But there's still three upgrades to go. So so there's no time to waste. Good night. So as I said earlier, there's only three more upgrades, but these upgrades all seem to require something from the end. So we got to find that end portal and beat the dragon. The first step is actually going back to the nether. So let's go. Okay, we got the eight blaze rod we need. Let's get out of here. Now let's make our way to a bastion. That way we can easily trade for some ender pearls. Okay, we found a bastion and I see my first chest. Booyah, we got a ton of arrows and a gold block already. Let's keep searching. Two gold blocks in this one. Oh, we just got a ton of gold blocks. I just saw a ton of those pass by. Let's go. There we go. Two more gold blocks. A bunch of gold blocks up here. There we go. Okay, I got five trapped and they're currently trading. Now we just gotta hope we get a bunch of ender pearls. Okay, they're done trading. Let's see how many ender pearls we got. Oh, we got way more than enough. 16 plus seven. Now let's go take on the ender dragon. Okay, day 79. Let's quickly put together our eyes of ender, which should be all we need to actually get to the portal. But we do need other supplies as well. So first things first, I'm gonna go over here and make myself some more glass bottles. Specifically, I'm gonna 
make myself 12. And the reason I'm making 12 glass bottles is because I actually need to collect 10 dragon's breath. So these things are going to be essential. I also need to make a spy glass using an amethyst shard and two copper ingots. So we'll simply combine those together and boom, we got the spy glass. Now you may be wondering why I need a spy glass for the end, but it's because my final combat upgrade actually requires that I get the is it a plane advancement, which basically means look at the ender dragon with a spy glass. You're also going to notice the it's a bird and it's a balloon, which is just the same thing as that, except I'm looking at a ghast and I'm looking at a parrot. So they're pretty easy to do, but that's why we need a spy glass. So with those things in hand, let's throw the first eye of ender and see where it goes. This way. And now let's fly. Let's throw the next eye. Oh, it's going backwards. It's somewhere in the ocean, I think. It might just be right here. Hold on. It is. It's literally right below us. Oh, we found it. We're at the stronghold. Let's go. Finally. There we go. Okay, now we just have to actually find this portal. <gasps> the portal room. We're all, we literally found it. It was the first room we ran into. Let's go. Okay, we made it to the end. Let's fly over here. Go up the side of this. And now let's first get this achievement by looking at the Ender Dragon with our spyglass, which completes one of our quests. Wait, Rex the Dino got I spy. How did they find it so quick? Look up. Yo, it's the Ravager. Yeah, he's going oh. this way. Okay, we made it. Destroy this one. Grab our water back. And now let's take out a bunch of these towers. There goes that one. We got that! Oh my goodness. Okay, now there's only two left. We got this one in the cage right here. And we've got one more in a cage over this way. Booyah! And that one's gone now, too. Okay, the hunters are here now. We're gonna have to take care of them and the dragon. What happened to no knockback? Well, good thing I don't take fall damage. Haha, <laughs> you can't get me. Okay, now we have some protection to take on this dragon. Let's put a wall up. They can't shoot me, but I can shoot that dragon, which is exactly what I want. You know what? I'm done with this. I'm putting a banner down. Okay, one's dead. Ooh, bro, he just two shot me. Two's dead. Oh my gosh, I'm dead! Yes, we got him! Let's go! We got the dragon kill. We got the dragon kill. Okay, we need to get this dragon egg now. He's gonna try and come in. Here we go, ready? Got him. He's done. He's dead. Put a torch underneath and break it. And now we can get the dragon egg. Now, if we look at our upgrade menu, we got a bunch of stuff done. For the elytra thing, we got the 10 dragon's breath we need. And all we need left is some elytra, the dragon head, and some chorus fruit. As for our final evolution, we got the dragon egg we need. And for our final combat upgrade, we've completed Is It a Plane? So now let's simply go to the outer end, grab ourselves the elytra, dragon head, and chorus fruit we need, and then we can be done with this place. Like usual, finding an end city with elytra was super annoying and difficult. However, after only a couple of days, we did find one and gathered everything that we needed. Oh, another end city, please. I see the ship. That has the dragon head and the elytra we need. And we just grab this chorus fruit here. But we'll worry about the chorus fruit after. Let's start by just getting to the end ship. And there we go, elytra. Okay, now let's go to the front of the ship and let's go grab that dragon head. There we go. We've got the dragon head, which means we literally have almost everything done for the elytra infused ravager. And all we need left to do it is to grab a bunch of these chorus fruit over here. So let's just drop some of our cobblestone and dirt and let's grab chorus fruit. There we go, we have the 128 chorus fruit, which means we can unlock the elytra infused ravager, which literally gives us the ability to fly like we're in creative mode. No more of this weird jetting forward thing. And with that unlocked, there's only two more upgrades to go. We have big and beefy, and we have the headbutt of absolute power. But we'll work on those when we get home. Okay, and hello on day 85. Now we got everything from the end that we officially need. So there's only a few items left to do the upgrade. We're gonna need one scoot and 500 raw beef to unlock big and beefy. We still need, is it a bird? Is it a plane? We need to kill a wither and kill 10 players to get the headbutt of absolute power. So let's start by doing the easiest part of this, which is simply gathering 500 meat. <laughs> Okay, we're done getting all the raw meat. We literally have 500 raw meat ready to go. So now we literally just need to get Scoot, which I luckily already have. Remember those turtles from earlier on that weird abandoned beach? Well, yeah, when I flew by one day, they had Scoot. So I already have some, actually. It makes life way easier. Because Scoot can actually be a pain to obtain otherwise. So let's grab the Scoot from the chest. Now let's become Big and Beefy. Say goodbye to the Ravager. And hello to Big and Beefy. You do not want to mess with this Ravager. Look at how big its horns are. And you're going to notice he has a ton of HP. 100 total hearts, strength 5, and speed 3. And now there's only one more upgrade to go. And that's to get the headbutt of absolute power. Which means I still need to kill a wither, get 7 player kills, get is it a balloon, and get is it a bird. So, let's head to the nether, and let's get some wither skeleton skulls so we can fight a wither. And now let's go ahead and get 3 wither skeleton skulls. Oh hey look, it's a ghast. Hey look, is it a balloon? There we go, we got the third wither skeleton skull. Now let's go grab some soul sand. 
And now let's go take on the wither. Okay, let's fight this thing. So we'll put the soul sand like this, put the three wither skeleton skulls on top, and here he is. Now we just gotta beat this dude up a bunch. And there we go. He was dead in seconds. He didn't stand a chance, actually. Now that Big and Beefy is absolutely slaughtering everything, let's head to a jungle and quickly get a parrot and a spyglass to finish up the last of the is it a blank achievements. Okay, we're at the jungle. Now we just gotta find a parrot and uh, locate it with our spyglass. How hard can that be? Parrots are pretty common, right? Oh, I see one. There's one on this tree. Is it a bird? Yes. Yes, it is. You guys get to live. You guys are great. I don't have anything for you, but I hope you have great lives. And now all we need to do left is get the seven player kills we need, and then we can unlock the headbutt of absolute power. Okay, their base is literally right here. Oh, no, they moved. I can already tell you. There's no one here. Yeah, look, everything's gone. They changed bases. Dang it. Okay, we have to find their new base, and just for good measure, let's take out the floor. I don't want them coming back to this base. There we go. That should be enough damage where they won't come back here. And now let's go find their actual base, wherever they are. For the next couple of days, I searched for my friend's base. Ooh, another pillager tower. I will destroy you, pillager tower. There we go. While I'm actually here, I want to show you guys an ability I learned. So let's take this pillager here. If I hit my flight button, you're going to see I can actually pick up this pillager and send him flying. So I can also fly in, pick something up, and then throw it. It's amazing. Oh, I think I found their base. It's literally covered in lava. Oh, this is definitely their base. Hello. Dude, he's here. I need kills, please. I'm here for you. Thank you. That's one. Oh, he's so scary. What is this? Well, they definitely know I'm here now. Nice, we got another one. He's gotta be low, no, dude. In fact, let's go ahead and banner it up real quick. And throw him off. I literally just threw him off the cliff with my throw button. Let's do that again. If someone comes up, let's just chuck them off. Get out here. Ah! Oh no! Yep, come on up. Get out here. Come on up. Get out here. <laughs> Dude, I'm going crazy with power here. Okay, but we need to actually get kills with our sword. The kills with the other thing don't count. Okay, to oh, he hit me, almost hit me off. There we go, three kills to go. There we go, this is absolute chaos. Oh, I got him midair, nice, we need one more. Nice, we got all kills we need. And with that, I will leave you guys be, because it's time for me to unlock the headbutt of absolute power. Let's go ahead and let's unlock the headbutt, and let's try this new power out. So it says I quickly dash forward, and if I collide with anyone, they're going to be launched 100 blocks into the sky. And you know I'm going to test it on this guy, so uh, sorry. Oh, is he coming back? Oh, here he comes. Oh my goodness. Here, let's launch you all in the sky. So yeah, this ability is amazing. And all I have to do is survive five more days and I win this challenge. And just to guarantee that I do win, I'm gonna make my way back to my friend's base. You know, I'm gonna destroy it because I gotta slow them down. I can't give them any chance at winning at this challenge because this Ravager is just too cool. Okay, their base is literally right up ahead. Hello. Hundred. Dude, wait, he's here. Okay, you know what? Let's just plow through. Let's not even give him a chance to do anything. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, your base ain't looking too basey at At least we still have the downstairs area, right, guys? Oh, it looks like they got a lot more base down here. I'm gonna have to catch on fire, but it's worth it. Oh, look at all those beds I just destroyed. Be a real shame if their chests also got destroyed. Oh, there goes their nether portal. There goes your base. Good luck. And that should guarantee me the win. After destroying my friend's base, I knew I'd set them back quite a bit. And so they really only had one more chance to take me down. And on day 99, they made their final attack. Oh, wait, wait. I see them. I see them. Let's give them a greeting up front, shall we? Oh, yeah, one's coming up. Okay, we got them. Let's get rid of the cows, quick. What are they going to do when I have an army that can take them on? Oh, this is absolute chaos. Hold on. We need to take out these cows. Oh, hello. The tower's on fire. Not the pillager tower, no. Oh, there's no stopping that fire. That fire's crazy. I'm blaming you. You did this. Yeah, you see the penalty of what's happening. Come on. Yes, got him. Nice, another one down. In fact, let's get rid of their beds while we're at it. I don't want to deal with them spawning over and over again. Uh-oh, uh oh, uh -oh. Dude, he's coming to our base, he's coming to our base. Make them deal with this real quick. Yes, we got him. That's right. Oh no, Luke. One more to go, because the other one's not back. He's done. I win. The Ravager is literally unstoppable. No, you haven't. I mean, I guess technically I haven't. It's not day 100 yet. You're going to kill me before day 100? The answer is no. They're not going to kill me before day 100. Wait, what? I'm here to kill you. Wait, what are you doing? Wait, look. Unicorn, get out of my office. Unicorn. He just slash killed me. Looks like you're dead now before day 100, son. He just slash killed me. Yeah. What? <laughs> Does that count as a loss? He literally ran in my office and slash killed me. Jose, you decide. No, let's ask the comments. 
Oh, you know what? Fine. Comments, you get to decide who wins, I guess. Does Luke win for coming in my room and slash killing me? Or does the Ravager win? Because he was big and strong. Let us know. Thanks for watching.